Okay, so I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw this news article. And yeah, I know it's 2020 and I still use Facebook, okay? Shut up. But anyway, I was scrolling through Facebook, I saw this news article and it says Celebrations Advent Calendar ruins Christmas after four days with sick joke. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so Christmas is ruined. Oh my God, this is a travesty. It must be such a huge thing. But no, no, no it's not. It's, it's really not. So you see here, people on Twitter have been left outraged by the first four doors of their celebrations advent calendar, with some fans even saying it's ruined Christmas for them. Oh no, this is going to be so bad. Honestly, this is going to be the worst thing I've ever seen ever. Okay, so you get further down into the article and here it says, The makers of Celebrations Advent Calendars have received brutal backlash after fans discovered what they've labelled as a sick joke behind its doors. Chocolate lovers have been forced to tuck into bounty bars for the fourth day in a row and they're furious. What do you mean? You f you're furious over having a bounty in a celebrations thing for four days in a row? Firstly, bounties are the favourite chocolate bar. Like, they're the best chocolate bar in celebrations. Nothing can beat a bounty. Secondly, what are you talking about? It's ruined Christmas. It's, it's a 5p piece of chocolate in a £1 advent calendar. And you're saying it's ruined your Christmas. Okay, so here they've got a few people's tweets from the people who are disappointed and are outraged about the bounty four days in a row. A number of people complained about their disappointment on Twitter. With one saying, Hi UK celebrations, please could I have a written apology? Yeah, that, that's right. I don't want anything else. I want a written apology for you ruining my advent. My legal... <laughs> oh my... My legal team will be in touch. Honestly, one more bounty and I'm throwing it out. Well, throw it out? What are you on about? <laughs> my legal team will be in touch. It's a... It's literally a 5p chocolate in an advent calendar. And you, you, you're going to say you're going to use your legal team. A second person said, I have a celebrations advent calendar. And if I open that thing tomorrow and there's a bounty, well, that's just going to be 2020 summed up. What, 2020 is going to be summed up by a piece of chocolate. Oh god, 2020 has been horrible, but god damn it, if I get another bounty in my advent calendar, this year is the worst year ever. Forget all the COVID and everything like that. Four bounties, that's too much, you have ruined my Christmas. I just think it's so bizarre that, like, people are comp- How is this news? People are complaining about chocolate in an advent calendar. It's celebrations, they do bounties, you're going to get bounties. Bounties, firstly, like I've said, they're the best chocolate in a celebrations pack. But if you didn't want a bounty, don't get an advent calendar. If you're not going to be happy with a surprise, don't buy it. Just go out, spend an extra two quid on a box, and then you get to choose your own. Make your own advent calendar. If you're going to complain about bounties, just just, just 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 throw it out like this person said. The main thing I love, though, is that celebrations actually put out tweets as well, saying, ignoring the concerned calls and emails from, from marketing while we cause havoc. Throwing the phone in the bin and showing... Uh, the bounty and then here again us sleeping soundly knowing we've spread the hashtag bounty love i absolutely love that well done well done but as you go through again it's just it's just more people that are tweeting and one said you're killing my christmas spirit at this point it has even been accused of ruining christmas how is it ruining your christmas it's a piece of chocolate it's not even a bite size you can swallow it whole it's a piece of chocolate like th shut up just shut up, it's... Oh my god. Honestly, at this point, I'm just... I'm just baffled by what can be classed as news right now. Like, how is this news? It's chocolate. A spokesperson from Mars said, We all have our favourites. Bounty might be the last chocolate left in the tub for some. But for others, two Advent Bounties treat in a row might get their season off to a great start. It's a piece of chocolate. It's not that deep, mate. It's just a piece of chocolate. And to enter article anyway, it just says, The bounty team went cocoa nuts when they found out they weren't behind door one this year. Needless to say, celebrations have been overrun with bounty lovers who decided 2020 needs a bit more tropical fun. Despite the backlash, research conducted by Mars Wrigley revealed one-fifth of the nation, 19%, Bounty is their top choice of this festive season, and then it just has the price of a, tele a, a celebration stub. Like, just, just go buy a celebration stub if you don't want bounties. Like, just shut up complaining. It's a piece of chocolate. It's worth, like, five pence. You don't need... It's not that deep. 
saying it's gonna ruin Christmas and stuff. Like, look at this. Celebrations. My kids have been mugged. My kids have been mugged off for having a piece of chocolate. We've bounties four days in a row. I hope there's not a fifth one tomorrow. Cancel Christmas. You wanna cancel Christmas? Oh, if you're gonna want to cancel Christmas, and if your Christmas is being ruined by a piece of chocolate, then you were just so privileged to just complain about that. Like, just shut up. Honestly, it is just ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to make a video about it because I just think it's like one of the most ridiculous posts I've ever seen. I don't get how this is news. Like, who has taken time out of the day to actually write this and just make it news? Because it's not newsworthy. It's just stupid. People being mad about chocolate. Just, just grow up, mate. Just grow up. But anyway, yeah, I want to do more stuff like this where I just look at stupid news articles like this and just see what's going on because... It's just, some people are just so ridiculously dumb and it's hilarious to see. So I'm going to try and look for some more and I'm going to do more videos like this, but it's, it's, it's a piece of chocolate, mate. Just chill out.